These are the 20 most first. I have a question. If you saw Cristiano Ronaldo playing football in the streets, would you notice? Dang, this kid thinks he's playing football with a complete stranger, but it turns out to be his idol. That's insane, but not as insane as number 19. See, in 2023, the Sidemen made a huge mistake. They invited Max Fosh to compete in their celebrity football match. And when you invite one of YouTube's biggest menaces to the biggest celebrity football match, things are bound to go off the rails. But little did fans know, Fosh had something extra special planned. Because when he made a questionable slide tackle in the 78th minute, fans quickly saw why. So now he has someone to hang out with. That's good for him. Oh, that challenge there. Free kick for the side men. Mini Min to take him down by Max Fosh. Could be the first booking off the game. Trousers, trousers. Yellow card. The Yellow card. He's in the center. That's a first step. That's a first Number one. What does that mean? Can you burn to the yellow? Burn to the yellow. This dude pulled out an Uno reverse. The YouTube All-Star should win for that alone. But sadly, not all moments are fun and games. Because for our 18th moment, what started as fun and games turned into a complete nightmare. See, Xavi had the fairy got to end his Barcelona playing career with a 3-1 victory over Juventus in the Champions League. Bro should have all smiles. But during the bus parade, it appeared the opposite was true. This dude just shoved Neymar and he doesn't even regret it because Neymar was trying to take his shoes off and push him off the edge of the bus. And you already know, Xavi was having became Barcelona's head coach in 2019. One of his first tasks was introducing 10 clear rules for every player to abide by. Bro even forced players to show up 90 minutes early for training sessions. Safe to say, Neymar isn't returning to Barcelona anytime soon. But now that Neymar is no longer on Barca, he can have all the fun he wants. And there's nothing Xavi can do about it. Wow, pro's football skills are unreal. But imagine pulling off something 10 times crazier to shut up an opponent. See, in 2008, poor Smiths was feeling themselves. Not only were they ninth in the standings, but they also won seven of their first 12 away games. However, that's when they ran into Manchester United and Ronaldo decided to humble these dudes. Because when Ronaldo was awarded a free kick, he showed them a level of greatness they didn't even know was possible. All right. This dude might actually be the GOAT. I'm mad if Messi has anything to say about it. Because at the end of this video, he's about to silence the haters for good. But first, it's time Messi took nutmegs to a level you didn't know was possible. Oh man, Inter Miami just got blessed, and so did all of America. But Mbappe was also supposed to get blessed, because all of his teammates had worked together to buy him the perfect present. Only it wasn't quite what he expected. <laughs> Watch out, ladies and gentlemen. We got a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle on the loose. I bet that bro hasn't even heard of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Marcelo's son is only eight, and he's already way better than I'll ever be. Come on, bro. That's simply unfair. Come ever he wants. And when other players saw this, they were like, screw it. I'll do something. <laughs> Ronaldo's influence has gone too far. This dude hides two Coca-Cola bottles and suddenly everyone wants in. But not everyone was happy with Ronaldo's new trend because these sponsored drinks were strategically placed to add value to the company. Not the opposite. And once Coca-Cola's share price started dropping, the UEFA had to step in, forcing them to beg players to stop removing sponsored drinks for the news conference platforms. But Cristiano Ronaldo didn't realize how much influence he had until our 12th moment. When Everton played Manchester United in 2021, it was a dream come true 
crew for Andros Townsend. He was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with his idol. But Townsend was on a mission, because if he truly wanted to make most of his once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, he knew what needed to be done. The core could switch it for Andros Townsend to equalize! For reference, Townsend hadn't scored a goal in eight months. And here he was doing the sue in front of Cristiano Ronaldo. There was just one small problem. Townsend didn't just want to cop his celebration. He also wanted his merch. You know what? I made it my goal that I was not leaving Old Trafford without Cristiano Ronaldo's shirt. Um, and eventually, like, he, he gave it and said, yeah, I'll give it to you inside. Man, doing a celebration and asking him for a shirt? That takes some serious cojones. Although Mario Balotelli might have the biggest cojones of them all. Because this dude really had the audacity to pass up the easiest goal of his career just to make the goalkeeper look stupid. But instead, he ended up the stupid one. Going to make it two. I'm gonna... Man, are you kidding? Serious? Mario Balotelli. And he's getting booed for this. Yeah, you already know he's getting flamed by the fans. Rose started emoting and it got his bum benched. But that's far from the only heat he's gotten himself into. Over the years, he's sent countless controversial tweets, been criticized for his lack of effort during training and matches, and got into heated disagreements with multiple team managers. And after a while, Rose started to get sick and tired of all of the hate. He was just trying to play his game. But every time he did something unusual, the media was all over. Over him until finally Balotelli decided to embrace the hate. You can't print anything that's controversial, you can't print anything that's going to be offensive to the United fans or anybody really. He thought for a minute or two and then he came out with one or two things and I said, no Mario, no, no, I don't think that's appropriate. And then it was him actually who just came out with it, out of the blue, he just said, what about why always me? And it wouldn't take long for Balotelli to make his statement, because the game had just started, and Balotelli was all ready to wreak havoc. Balotelli! This man embraced the hate, and fans loved it so much they started making bobbleheads of him. But now that we're entering the eight most viral moments, it's time to forget about fate and start accepting the impossible. Impossible. Kind of like the time David Luiz was so out of sync that he couldn't even beat the man in the mirror. Luiz just took rock, paper, scissors to a whole new level. But if you're lying, because in 2023, 50 Liverpool fans got the opportunity of a lifetime. They took on the ultimate penalty challenge with 10 grand up for grabs. We've brought together 50 Liverpool fans for the chance to win 10,000 pounds. Thanks to SC Johnson, these guys are going to be taking part in the ultimate penalty Whoa. shootout. Oh. With the final two heading to Anfield for the grand final. They started with 50, but soon they would be down to two. You should just give me the 10 grand because these keep losing. <laughs> this guy hit it hard. Here we go. If he scores, he's joining this fella at Anfield. However, this is where things got crazy because these fans started as season ticket holders and now they would be shooting penalties in front of thousands. But things are only going to get crazier because you'll never guess who came to give them pointers. In front of the car. All right, well, we do have someone else in today to help you out, give you a few tips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's happening, Steve? Congratulations. How are you? How are you? Good. Yeah, they've stepped up a little, not a big fella to you, like. This was every fan's dream, a chance to meet Steven Gerrard and get to grace the same pitch as your favorite players. But there was one thing that stood in the way of these fans and the greatest day of their lives, PKs. That's when this happened. Oh, he's sorted. Right, come on, lad. Craig against Oscar Kelly. Oh, oh. oh the save. Lad, he goes winning right now. Is this going in? Yeah. For £10,000. Take your time. Forget who's watching. Dexter, please. Score! Get in! Wow, we. 
That's wild. And the wildest part of it all, that it could have happened to any of us. But there's a difference between wild and stupid. You stupid. And that's our sixth moment, because it's extremely easy to get excited about playing in the World Cup. Heck, if it was me, I'd be on cloud nine. And you already know, if my country scores a goal, I'm going nuts. But I didn't know there was such a thing as celebrating too much until I saw this. Imagine having to leave the pitch all because you're having too much fun, but at least he never cost his way from his teammate. <laughs> Bro just had the easiest goal of his career, and Lukaku just cock blocked him. Come on, man, why'd you gotta do him like that? But all right. One thing we gotta talk about is the 2014 UEFA Champions League final. Cause you know these games go crazy hard. The chance to win the Champions League and become immortal. You can't ask for much more, and neither can fans. Because when Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid started squaring off, fans knew they were in store for something special. But little did fans know, Atletico Madrid wasn't messing around. Get the way to Juan Fran. And Godin might have scored here! The goal is given! Now, it was Real Madrid's turn to strike back. Because Atletico scored this goal in the 36th minute, and Real Madrid had 45 whole minutes to tie it up. But heading into additional time, all hope looked lost, and Madrid was held scoreless. That was unless Sergio Ramos had anything to say about it. Nah, that's too cold. Bro let them think they had it in the bag just to snatch some souls. And once Ramos did this, it was all but over. There's a rising run from Di Maria. It's a good save, but it's Bale! Marcelo. Still going Marcelo! Real Madrid have a third! And it will be there! Now though. Good run, and it's a penalty. Cristiano Ronaldo delivers La Decima for Real Madrid in Lisbon. Not one, not two, but three goals in extra time? These guys went through it all just to go absolutely ballistic in the last 30 minutes. And yet, our next moment went viral for a completely different reason. Because it's not often you see me in tears. But man, when the football world lost Diego Maradona on November 25th, 2020, I was heartbroken. He was just 60 years old when he suffered a heart attack. And it felt like just yesterday he was schooling his opponents on the pitch. I mean, this dude scored over 300 goals, single-handedly carried Argentina in the 1986 World Cup, and even created his own dribble move. So when he passed, no one was hurting more than his home country of Argentina. But then in 2022, we lost an even bigger icon, Pele widely regarded as the greatest player of his generation. Pele won three World Cups and ranks top five all time in goals. It's applause to this footballing legend. Imagine growing up idolizing this guy, and then the next second, he's gone. So Neymar knew a tweet wasn't enough. He had to do something more. So following Brazil's victory over South Korea, they knew what the right thing to do was. Rest in peace, Maradona and Pele. You'll be missed. But next up, it's time I show you something extraordinary. <laughs> See, certain moments are out-of-body experiences. And against Juventus, Ronaldo didn't just put together one of his all-time greatest plays, but he also had thousands of fans in the stadium and millions of fans at home out of their seats. And then Ronaldo! Oh! What a goal by Cristiano Ronaldo! Nah, bro. If this is a dream, then someone wake me up. But with only one moment remaining, it's only right back to 2020. Because that was the year Lionel Messi finally defeated his biggest demon. See, there's no doubt that Messi is one of the cup. 
he had made it all the way to the World Cup final, but he had yet to actually win it. And now in his mid-30s, fans knew that the 2022 World Cup would likely be his last. One more chance to win a World Cup, and one more chance to win a World Cup for his home country. But to do that, he had to take down the reigning champs, France. Led by Kylian Mbappe, this team was determined to run it back. However, no one was more determined than Lionel Messi, and it showed. He's got the ground, he's got a penalty! A heartbeat. And Messi! Di Maria is the spare man! And how Di Maria! Glorious goal! With only 10 minutes to go, Argentina had a commanding 2-0 lead. But here's the thing, with Mbappe, no lead is safe. And Colin Moani has got into the box, he's got a penalty! Mbappe, Taram, Mbappe! In under two minutes, the score was tied up all at two goals apiece. That's when extra time happened, and this time Messi had to dig even deeper. Little Messi, Fernandez, Martinez, Messi! And at this point, almost the entire world was rooting for Argentina. Everyone knew how badly Messi wanted this, but that didn't seem to matter, because as long as Mbappe was on the opposing side, it wouldn't come easy. Out to Mbappe, shout for Mbappe! Mbappe into the galaxy of greats! Every time you counted out France, Mbappe kept coming back. So when it came for penalty kicks, fans were praying that Argentina would finally be able to seal the deal. And sure enough, it all came down to this. Coleman. Great stop! Whatever he achieves now, that's just the icing on the cake. But if you want to eat your cake too, then click on the video on screen. Because Messi didn't just go through all that effort for you to just click off now.